remember. We're still working on cleaning. She's, she's holding back. So Dennis started to talk about, before he got here, Ben, about the uh, changes in permitting with the DES. And just while I'm thinking of it, as we learn the outcome of the, uh, bring it up, right up to the table, if you want to, of the uh, River Road North Thetford um, project. Thank you. We need to be starting on the permitting and remember that the, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, this the western limits of the three beaches of Maple Beach. Now, it's actually this gold line, not that dark line. Um. And then here, the existing right of way is actually that line, not the bold line. So this arrow. No, the bold line is the right of way. The right of way is quite a bit wide. These are the limits right here. I think these two are reversed. Does it say right of way? The right of way. That's the easement limits. Right, but the right of way in your road is only 33 feet. And this is the road here. The road goes from here to here. Right, but you have a shoulder, you have a ditch one. So this is the actual outside of the right of way for the road. The road's only 20 feet wide. The right of way is 33 feet wide. Is there any way you could get an inset that would blow that up and explain it better? Yeah. It's, um, it, it ends up, you're looking at lines and the, they're all um, right next to each it, other. The, the, the D for the easement appears to indicate that this east, this western easement property boundary or easement boundary is not the same as the easterly side of the road easement. But well, we can, we can check that. This That's, is the old road. You know. I understand yeah. that. This is the new road. road. Yep. So he was just indicating where he located the old road easement. Uh, the old road right of way. Right of way, yeah. Um, because the lines can't change. This is, that's where that stone wall is. Well, because the lines is that hard to read on that map, yep. it would be nice if it blow it up. He needs to clarify. He needs to clarify this. He needs to clarify this. And this is definitely incorrect. Yeah. So. Um, and the true acreage amount. And, and yes. So what do you want? Just an arrow pointing and. Go ahead, Judy. You're the one that studied the beat, and you know you're, this is your area of expertise, if you will. So. I want him. This arrow is wrong. Yeah, it doesn't point. Right. It points at the old road, not at the. Correct. Okay. And this dotted line, what this dotted line, which isn't indicated down here, is a mileage line. This is this is to here, and we're doing this. So he surveyed that, and he's got some mileages and distances. But this arrow should go. If this is the edge of the easement, that needs to go to there, and then you can calculate what's within the easement. So we've got. A 3.7 acre easement, which is in the D, mm -hmm. and then he's saying here the actual area of east of the two rod river road layout is 3.6 acres. So we've got a difference between the D and what he's calculated. I want him to run that calculation again to make sure, but this arrow is the, is the main sticking point. And then he needs to. As, as Ben said, he needs to have a blow up or something so that it's really, really clear what he's talking about and what he's pointing to. Because is the westerly edge of the easement the same as the easterly side of the road? I would think it would have to be. Well, you might think, but he needs to he needs to tell us for sure because otherwise he needs another note that indicates that really clearly. We don't ever want to have to question in the future what exactly we have. And where it is laid out. Okay. Okay. Yep. We can do that. Okay. That's like down here. This shows this bend in the road, and then it's not there. Well, then let's Won't get be. one that's right. Well, he took that off the engineering plan. She gave him the survey points. He gave her back an engineering plan that showed a number of issues um, that aren't there. Yeah, the the, there's not been there. a a. Uh, it's sort of a moving target yeah. with with plans, but believe me, we know all about that. I know you do. What <laughs> we get recorded, we'd really like to have the okay. what's actually there. I'll go up and meet with him and uh, make sure that we get those notes. That'd be awesome. Okay. Thank no. you very much.
would be the first part of the week, but by the end of the week, I'll, end of next week, I'll have the Okay. Then go to Dina. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, Dennis. That's it. That's it. Cool. Thank you. I'm Thanks gonna for swinging by. Try. Okay, Steve. Why don't we run through your list? It's a quick and easy one. I'm Bye, just going to drop off the different um, paving options from R&D. Come on up here. Is that I don't I don't prefer to be video recorded. I know that that's that, your choice. I know they have a legal right to. That's but your choice. I'll sit here because I don't I don't I don't agree with that. Okay. Um, okay I just have one comment on the video. It should record the audience. So. <laughs> uh -huh. um, that's the whole that's meeting. Some questions. I said the video should record the audience as well. Yeah. Because they you're part have, of the meeting. You don't have to set it up. You can set it up wherever you like. Okay. And if you want me to do it now? Yeah. Uh, like I said, I, don't, I know legally they have a right to, but I don't prefer to be video. I didn't sign up the right to be a, a movie star. Steve is out. And then we'll and then fix they'll it. recognize his voice, so that's not a problem. But I, I appreciate what you're saying. Go ahead. Um, I got three different options from R&D. They're kind of trying to help us approach River Road South, try to fix it for what we have for money. The cheapest solution is still going to cost 284, 284,000. So we're going to be about 10,000 short of, you know. Um, the option I would like to do is the that terrible rough flat that's terrible. And we already know from borings what's there, nothing great. Uh, um, he says a lot of times we'll take inch and a half um, stone, lay it down, gate spread it before the grinder, and incorporate it into the road, and then we pave over it. But that option is three hundred thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> so, like I said, the cheapest option to get pavement on that road, and, and it's a good amount of pavement. Um, but I have all the particulars and all these three different plans, and he's got three different situations we can go with. So I'll leave that with you and to think about it. We can talk about it. And um, the only thing is, if if we want to do the entire River Road South, the cheapest option is two eighty four. So maybe if I made an amendment at town meeting to try and raise the other ten. The extra ten. Um, Type one second. I had my note. Where did we roll up to, Dina? You, I got it back here. It was close to that. He says it's it really may not cost two eighty four because he could. He says if we want, he's got the scenario in here. We could thin out Baker Hill a little bit and get some tonnage from Baker move to River Road. You know that, that's that's another option too. So, but but I, like I said, I'll leave these with you to go over all the particulars. This is important because what I want yeah. to make sure, basically, is that I'm remembering correctly, and I I think Dean is right that we've got enough to cover the what's called the low cost solution. Mm -hmm. But I just need to find my note So Dina had calculated the remaining in the paved road fund. Mm -hmm. And so it's the combination of 154 plus 100, which is 274. Excuse me. 154 <laughs> right. plus 100 is 254 plus 37 is what's in my head. And where did the 37 come from? Hey, Rover. Oh, okay. So that's all I got to do is find that section. Dina actually, I think, sent me that. I think something like that. We're close, though, Steve. I guess it's five lines. Yeah, I think. I think and option, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll leave this with you. Option one, he does have a grinding option in there. Uh -huh. I've, I've got to provide the stone, which is not going to be that much stone, but you know which flat I'm talking about, right, Kevin, that, on River Road South? It's 2,800 feet long, and it's between mailbox 139 and I think 192 um, or 196. But there's a that's the flat there that's really terrible. I, I mean, I got not, I mean, not like door to door. 
Oh, that's not in there. No. That's not in there. The paved road in front is a is a separate one that was done um, with a, a five year out date. And this is the last oh, year okay. they use it. They use it. Just in time. Yeah. Twenty seven two two five. So twenty seven two two five. Yeah. Give me Dorchester one fifty four. Dorchester. Oh, that one. Yeah, one fifty four six twenty five. I don't have that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's I do. It's in here. Doesn't work. Plus an estimated 100 for the block grant, which is always 154,625. Right. Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> you know, I like to be right. 154,625. 100, 100 plus. We know we get a little bit more usually. 27,225 for the block grant. 27,225 plus. 281. Mm -hmm. 850. So the reason for going through this exercise was to basically decide whether or not we needed to ask for any additional money to be added into the budget to complete what we had prioritized for River Road South. Sounds like we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I suspect yeah. that the block 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 grant will be a little more. Will be a little bit more than a hundred. That's right. Um, but like I said, I'll leave it because grinding. He does actually have grinding in all these options. Even the low cost. Yes, he does. So, well, I would have to buy the stone, but that stone's going to be a minuscule amount. That's not going to be a big okay. deal. Okay. Um, you don't necessarily have to leave them with us, Steve. I think. Well, like, yeah, but I just, I mean, I, I, I know which one I'm going to choose. That's I'll what probably I really the cheaper one, but I, I, I mean, there's different thicknesses, there's different materials, you know. And why don't um, you hold on to them and come back next week and give us your recommendation? Okay. Um, Just as long as it doesn't go over 281, right. <laughs> yeah. One more question. Any idea? I know you were talking with the um, bridge people. I'd like to obviously do the paving when the bridge is done. Is the bridge... <coughs> it would be ideal if we do it when the bridge is done. Yeah, that would be ideal. So what um, the way Mr. Hansen left it, I think it would be clearer for him once the other town meetings finish, right. is that he had... He's basically booked for all of the summer of the construction season for 2020. Uh -huh. What he, how he left it with me, since he had left us this one spot and we kept pushing him because we didn't finish the bypass, was he'll do his best to squeeze us in, but he didn't tell me when. Okay. So I think we're basically um, sort of at his scheduling, but he did say that he's got some towns that are waiting to see if they've got the money to do all the work that he's got scheduled to see if anything falls out. So okay. I think after next week, we'll be able to get in touch with them and see if anybody dropped out where we could. Unless if you talk to him, if he can kind of assure me that there won't be any damage to our asphalt at his butt joints and stuff, if he can assure me there won't be any, we could still pave it. But right. I mean, if he's going to have a crane in there, or, or, I mean, or, or we wait, you know, we just try to, we, we try to wait as far as we can, you know. Well, the only problem is these guys are obviously are filling their schedule. Sure. So I have to so I have to give them a, a kind of a, a, a an answer. So we'll just have to decide what where our priority is. Mm -hmm. Get the bridge installed, pave, or fit yeah. into the paver schedule and live with what happens with the bridge. Or or just pave, and I could maybe stop to each side of the bridge. I mean, it wouldn't look beautiful, but I could stop a couple truck lengths from each side of it if he thinks there's going to be damage there. Well, let's keep working it and. After next week, I'll get a hold of Mr. Hansen and see what he looks like, what his schedule looks like, and maybe something dropped out, and he can pencil us in so that'll work for us. Okay. Yeah. Let me just take a note. <clears throat> okay. So while you're here, Steve, anything else? Only uh, we're still. That's obviously that truck schedule is still a work in progress, correct? Exactly. Okay, so we'll talk about that another day. Well, and we can. Um, right. But let me just ask. So I've got. <clears throat> so this is what I when I talk about fleet rationalization, right? So I've tried to sketch out the fleet, if you will. So right now we've got maybe I call them operable three five ton trucks plus the Sterling. We have right now. We have four or five tons. Uh, three of them work. One of them is a spare. That's sort of what I call them operable. Okay. Um, 
So that I, 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 I felt like after I had written this that I was missing one. So I'm going to call it six plus the, is the sterling the spare? Yes. Is do we only have one sterling? Yes. Okay. A lot of these trucks that are kept and that are spare and they're extra just aren't on the schedule. Yeah. So you well, you know. So that's exactly where I'm they, headed. They should be. Well, that's why we need to talk. That that's really because right now, yep. if you look at what we've done for the CRF funding, is basically <clears throat> we've got this is on the so I call it on the replacement schedule. So we've got basically two big trucks, two small trucks on the replacement schedule. But in green, what I tried to indicate is that all the way through, when you have two basically big, let's just talk to big trucks for now, two big trucks on the replacement schedule, and I sketched out, and we can always talk about the life, right? We can, we can keep discussing that. But what's important, I think, right now is conceptually, with the size of our crew plus our contract help, having these four, but if we look at just the two big trucks, what what I've sensed is that you know you want to keep a spare, and so I've sort of factored that in, that when it comes time for, so we got the new truck that we're going to be looking for funding this year, we got the 13 replaced in 25, well then in 25 you've got the opportunity to decide how much do I like this 13, and if you decide that you like that 13, it can then become the spare. And then, is it, excuse me, as you work your way out in 2032, you take a look at your 2020 and say, am I still liking it? And then it becomes the spare. And so I don't have a... Well, the problem in doing that is then the oldest truck that you keep or the spare is 20 years old before you get rid of it. I know. I mean, the, the, it, the truck it, I'm replacing this year is 16 years old. It's a 2004. And the problem is what I've been preaching for years is we're, we're keeping these trucks too long. We need to shorten up... Like, Keeping a five ton, a one ton or five fifty more than five years is kind of crazy. The, the, the big trucks, most towns do seven, ten years tops. Keeping these trucks that this long, it's it's not financially prudent. Yeah. So I I, I did leave that life because I knew that was something we wanted to talk about, and I think it gets to a um, sort of a business decision of you've got the life of the truck, how much money you put into the truck to keep it operable so it's really functional, and then. As, we, as we're learning, as we keep these trucks for their almost entire life, if you use them, it, it is. They, they, end up, they end up not having a tremendous amount of value. $4,000 for the 2004 Sterling. Right, right. So, we're, you know, it's probably almost worth that much just in steel. Um, I didn't want to say scrap, but someone might buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it's, you know, it's an operable machine. I mean, you know, so... So, so, so I, I get it. Is that you know, it's a decision on, is it better to run them, spend the money to keep them on the road, run them for the full life, and then understand that at the end of their life, they bring us very little value compared to what you pay for, or you shorten up the replacement life and spend less money on maintenance at the tail end of the life, and then when you go to trade or sell, um, whatever works, you're still able to extract you know, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. So we, we need to learn that. And so the other towns, I think it would be good for us to research for the towns that replace more frequently, is to go see what they're getting to give us a, a feel for you know what that looks like. Because that'll help drive that decision. I've got a small I mean I've talked with Orford, there's a seven years. Yep. And they're big trucks, they have almost identical trucks yep. to ours, same body plows, everything. Yep. They're getting, you know, they'll sell them outright usually. They'll try and get thirty to forty thousand for them. Right at seven years. Yes, another thing, Kevin, that we have to contemplate too is, you know, we're not in the winter in full time. We're not at five and a half guys anymore. My trucks at three full time guys. I have to have dependable trucks. When I have one truck that goes down, not only does it take the truck out of the equation, it probably has somebody to help me fix it too. So to have the downtime now is what I cannot afford at all. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. When you're running. You're optimized, if we, you will, with your Well, I'll give, you, I'll give you just a time thing. Our, our routes before, one of the people we had, was two and a half hours to do a complete route. Now a complete plow cleanup is taking me six hours. So like I said, I'm not even, I can't even conform to the snow removal policy. So, 
That's my. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm just. Saying, if I'm, it snows, if it snows more than two inches in, in, in four or six hours. Well, some of these, some of these are kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you. Two and a half hours. Some of these routes have to be plowed. I mean, really. <laughs> But anyway, we can talk about that another that's, day. That's pretty tremendous service to be able to do that every two and a half hours. Um, okay, well, now you can, you know, I wanted to be able to talk off of the board, if you will. That's why I've left it up there. Um, and that's the whole idea is for us to try to talk about it and get alignment to figure out what works best. But when I talk about the fleet ra rationalization, you know, that's sort of what I've got in mind is trying to basically match the fleet with the uh, manpower, if you will. Exactly. I just think, you know, of course, once if you took that third truck out, it's it's so hard to get it back. I think in the long run, you're going to save money, and it's going to be better off to keep that third big truck in the schedule and to try to shorten up, even with the 550s, try to shorten these lifespans on them that we're, that we're getting out of them because it's... Uh, well, the 550 is sort of new territory for us, really. I mean, really, you've got... I think 2010, I think, was our first 450 or 550. That's, well, the, the 10, you know, the, the sprayer, so, the one without a wing... Right, so you're right. So that's our, you know, one that's of our, our first, first. That's our first. Time. But it didn't quite see as much work because it wasn't running the wing. Right. And you're using, I guess, you know, using more like the 16. You know, that's getting a lot of use. And so as the years go on, and, and we're going to learn yes. whether that truck really can last and, 10 years. And that's another thing I was like, I was why I was bringing up the time frame of the of the routes. The the trucks that we do have now obviously are getting a lot more hours on them. They're getting a lot more, you know, rather than a two and a half to three hour route that now is doing it's almost six hours. I'm, you know, these trucks are getting doubled up on their usage. So that, that's another thing you well, kind of have to know, contemplate. We're, we're getting uh, data back from reducing the three man. Uh, we can review based on the outcome of this year uh, whether that's a decision we want to make going forward. Yeah, yeah and, and you're right. I think the way I've sort of just big picture go to the slide that I showed, the second slide. It's all mathematics, but lots of variables. Well, exactly. <laughs> but, and, and so if you look at the road projects going out, and if we stick to our um, sort of, you know, once we get, we got a big hurdle to get past, and that's River Road at North Bedford. If, if our plans don't bring in another big project like that and we can stick to the pavement preservation stick to the replacements of the culverts stick to the you know finishing up some of the work that we've got to do manage our projects with both block grant and then if we're able to I guess the best words I could use skinny down a little bit what's going into the roads if we need to put more than four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars into the capital reserve because We've either brought forward the replacement or put the third truck back in. What I'm trying to say is we're sort of like this. I hope you don't mind my analogy. When the uh, when the snake eats the eats the mouse or whatever it does, and it, and it goes through the snake, you can kind of watch it go through. And so we're we're in that phase of that fat phase of funding with respect to road projects. So once we get through that fat funding, heavy funding of um, road projects. If we have to adjust on the CRF side, we'll be able to basically keep working towards maintaining that three to three point two million dollar total appropriation. Oh, we definitely got. Uh, we should be looking at prioritizing the road. Sure. Uh, pres preservation. Pres and that's what you're calling it, but uh, redoing the paved road. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then just uh, to like just so you don't think you're throwing your money away on this pavement. That pavement guy said that he's amazed at how remarkable River Road North and South is compared to some towns he sees. And I told him, so we, I think it was 97 or 98 when I started that we put a full, complete, normal course on like River Road North and South. And then over the years, we've skin coated it here and there, but it hasn't had like a normal, proper, decent paving since 97, 98. So he said to get that life out of that, he said, years. said it's, it's, he said most, most typical towns, 10, 12 years, you want to talk about resurfacing. He said, so to get what you got out of that, it's, it's amazing. Good. Um, yeah, good. So before you go, we did get feedback. 
I guess, somewhat from Little Town. That was, yeah, I was there on, yeah, on, the, uh, the, on the equipment ro rotation. No, no. no it, was more on, it was more on just the roads. Yeah, I, I heard, I heard yeah. what he said about it, and he's right. You know, the infrastructure well, roads. That's, that's the point of having some uh, prioritizing going forward. Well, he, it's, on the, it, it's on the schedule, though. The River Road North's on the, the schedule. Is, it's yeah. Yeah, it is next year, hopefully. Well, Market Street was also brought up. Market Street was brought up. Yeah. Well, and then uh, Juice Pond we heard about after, I think. The, the only thing I've been thinking of Goose Pond, it's going to be a while. You know, that's I know it's on our five-year schedule. Um, I don't, I can't remember if we spent it or reallocated it somewhere else. But I did have thirteen thousand dollars left because I didn't put that two inches of hard pack on last year's section that Knotts did. And if that's still, if we still have that somewhere, I could. The R and D is going to be in town. I could. I got to replace a couple culverts on the hill, but I could. Have them put a coat over the, what we call Mark, the Hughes Hill yeah. to appease people for a few years, and like the guy said, it's not it's not a waste. When when that material gets ground in the asphalt or whatever we do with it, when we do it, it's not a waste. It's solid, good material. It's going to be there. You know, it may that may be enough to 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 put a coat on that hill. So hold that thought, Steve. I so this that plays a little bit, Dean. I think to. I'm just going to show Dina so she can see it, but then you guys can take a look at it. You know, we, we went and um, last year, remember, we had everything up on the board. We right. had all yeah, we might have, that's what I'm seeing. We and might so have. we got, because even though you saved money on that project, um, we maybe have right, that's allocated it for, well, for finishing up um, yeah. top coating River Road, for top coating Baker, right. for, you know, Right, so we need to we need to um, finish those projects probably before we got a clear view right. on that, how much fine. was left over. But it, I, I hear what you're saying, and ideally, of course, if um, if uh, if R not, if R and D was here, but that's it's, it's hold that thought, Steve. Yeah. We'll keep working it. Yeah, and I yeah, talked yeah, to Alan Rao too, and he says that he could help us. You know, we could greater shim that. You know, dump spread some loads and just you know take the meanness out of it to so buy us a little time. Just so I'm got my. Uh, Topography, right? Hughes Hill. So you come out, you're going down, and then where it splits with Rene and Goose Pond Road, that hill right there. Yes. And so, um, obviously now, I mean, it's all over the place because of all the heaves. It's, it's, a, it's unfortunate you couldn't do the Dorchester Road that belongs to the state. <laughs> yeah, that's Dorchester. That thing's a beast. It's so, mean. so anyway, so that's what you're thinking yes. about. Is, yes. Yeah. Does it settle down after? after it, it'll get better, but I don't recall a year I've seen it quite this bad. And, and so once the pavement gets to a certain point that it is, there's so much moisture going through there. And the more salt we have to use to bear it doesn't help. And I try to cut the salt way back, which I have, but um, still. Oh, that, Dorchester Road was the worst. It's yeah, I, ver I can't ever remember seeing it that bad either. And you guys got to drive over with those trucks. Yeah, must be five miles an hour. I have no idea. I mean, I, I just because I drove up it yesterday just to take a, a look, you know, just up to the top of the hill to where we started the, yeah. the work we did last year, and I was just like, oh my goodness. I mean, there's there's places where it's just like, woo, and then the yeah. next it's over. So I was thinking about, you know, from a truck plowing perspective, right? Those states filling right. in their potholes with, with uh, that coal pack. Yeah. I'm trying to soften it. Go ahead. But I think from from the Goose Pond Road, um, from people, from the perspective of people who live on that road. Uh -huh. They're just sick of it not being finished. Yeah. That's part of the issue. It was a three-phase project. It started however long ago, and they're living on a dirt road, and they bought a house on a paved road, and they want it done. That's the message I got yesterday from three people. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily because Hughes Hill is so bumpy this year. Mm -hmm. It's because they're sick of the dust in their house. They're sick of the repairs to their vehicles it's not a paved road anymore, period. So, yeah. we'll, we'll start you with that argument from basically here on out, I think. Whether it's this road or other roads. Yeah. It's, it's fair, fair enough, it's but it's they've, all, too long. they've all been right. But you gotta, too long. you gotta kinda go back to where we positioned ourselves by saying that we were going to be slowing down on some of the major road work, yeah. to be fair. Well, we've in, we've in diverted an a lot of the money that would have gone to that. You're right. That's, year, so. that's well to two big projects. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And that's the that's been and the that's cost. and that's sort of the rub, if you will. It is. But the rub. We are. Our goal is to 
address to get our back to existing those. town roads no. as a priority rather than major road okay. And the message, um, the message, or there should be a message to the Goose Pond Road people. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Plan get, is. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll get to that in a, in a few minutes here, but thanks. Um, let me just ask the board this. Is the message strong enough when you look at our total appropriations that we've been basically working so hard with? Is the message strong enough that we ask for $200,000 more? Bring our total appropriations up to the same as last year to achieve more Goose Pond Road, for example. It's a question. I had a, I don't know if this helps you, but I had a, pre a preliminary figure from a contractor who just gave me some ideas and kind of similar what we've done on the rest of that road. And he thought he thought the flat was fine. It didn't really need to do much. Do you know what? But he thought the hill, the five culverts, head walls, precast, and drainage, and all that stuff, he thought it could, and I, think, I can't remember if he was counting pavement, probably not, but he, I, he, I think he talked in 174 range. Right, to make it ready. And I, I would think we could do it for less. That, that whole section last year we did for that or less. Right. So I would think we could do it for less, less than that. Then, like I said, though, the problem is that, I will, that hill is just like Baker Hill. I would never leave that hill gravel for a year. It's a school bus route. It's hard enough to keep it bare as it is. Um, that's the thing we got to think about when. That's yeah, when we do it, you got to do both. Right, and then that's the thing that you got to. You want to come up with enough money to pay that entire thing that we've already done while they're there. You know, the hill, everything. Wouldn't make much sense to have them come and just pave the hill. I mean, hey, you got to do what you got for money, but. That's kind of that's on our schedule. That's on our five year schedule to repurpose that hill, redo the hill and right. <clears throat> but I I don't really think that the the dirt section is really much to complain about. It that's really not that bad a shape. Um and I can't count the gallons of chlorine that gets dumped on it. Right. You know, um, yeah, so I think we're making good efforts to try to to alleviate some suffering. I mean it's Yeah. Well, it's it's high it's it's high if, speed that if, if, yeah. it's a high traffic road so I I understand that part. Okay, board. I asked a question. What are your thoughts? I, I mean, in a way, this is this is you could view it as sort of I don't want to talk an opportunity in the fact that we rolled in two hundred thousand dollars less. We had an unusual year last year to have the total town valuations go down slightly. We know that on average we go about up about one percent, and so where I'm headed is, and we also will learn tonight, um, dependent on the school budget, that they're coming in under what they did last year. So, if there was ever a year, if you will, to have this three quarters away through the process, if you will, maybe nine tenths the way through the process, the budget process, I mean. Um, it's, it, it's still mechanically doable. It's less, you know, we've got that 10% rule for the budget committee, you know, that by the statutory uh, aspect of what, can't come in and ask for 12% more. Yeah, I, that's what I just looked up. The 10% rule, so it's the total amount recommended by the budget committee. Mm -hmm. So that would include the warrant articles and the operating budget and the capital reserve funds. So there, Piece of it. Right, 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 right at three million. There's yeah. three hundred thousand. Yeah, so no, I, yeah. So the ten percent is that what you're looking for? Yes. Well, I know yeah. it's a little bit less. Twelve hundred thirty-six thousand zero eighty-eight. I round it as best I can. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, there's not the mechanically, it's doable. Obviously, it's very late in the budgeting game mm -hmm. to be doing it five days before. Yeah, I would like not to make that decision right at this moment if we're going to seriously consider well, but if we're gonna, it. But if we're going to do it, it's got, we almost have to decide now because we need to have it, offer it up. 
if you will, for, for town meeting. If, it's gonna, if, we, if we postpone it, then it, obviously we don't meet till next Thursday. We can meet before next Thursday. Oh, I see. I see. If you need to, you certainly can. I see what you're driving to. And so you want to think about it. And we have school meeting tonight, tonight, which could factor in yep. where we're going. And it just, to me, it seems prudent that we've addressed, we've looked at this issue before and come down on not asking for the extra 200000 Okay. Um, so I'm fine with where you, what you're saying. I asked your opinion, so that's what I'm looking for. That's, 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 that's exactly <laughs> what I'm looking for. I don't want to say yes or no at this point. I think if we're seriously going to consider doing it, we should give it a couple of days consideration, figure out what happens tonight, and relook at it. Um, Realistically, it would be Monday. I'll go along with Judy, and I'm not uh, opposed to doing it. I, I think, you know, the maintaining and, and finishing projects are, are important. Um, that one's been open forever. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what year that was started, the, the, the Goose Bomb thing. Six, seven years ago? <coughs> seven years ago. Somewhere in there. That's seven, a long eight. time. So you want so you're basically saying you want to have a think on it. Yeah, and then and and, and whether we address the hill separately or just you know get some of the paving done over the piece of, that's been open for so long. Well, the other thought would be is that we could. That's the easiest thing to do. Yeah, we could we could um, also just put up to and I'm, I'm sticking to you know if I was to do it I'm sticking to the two hundred because I want to stay flat to last year. Yeah. Um, the 200 could basically just go into, you know, reserve, if you will, for that project. Or for paving. Well, you know, you know, wherever, wherever, mm -hmm. right? So that it could be either paving or it could be, you know, you could be for Goose Pond Road. So if you're working to save up enough to do Goose Pond Road to completion, that being the reconstruction, what has to happen, and simultaneously the finished paving, where we get part of it this year and part of it. Next yeah, year or the next year. I think I saw it on the schedule for 23. Right. Is that when it was? Right. But we probably don't have enough money. In 23. Right. Goose Pond. 22 and 23. Right. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that you want a, a day to think about it. Fair enough. And then what I'd ask for you, if, if you're moving more towards increasing the budget by 200 to 400, whatever Dina's number was, I highly recommend we stay below 200. That you send an email to Dina tomorrow, and then if I get, if I basically hear back from you guys and you say no thank you, we're going to leave it as it is, then we don't need a special meeting. Right. If I, if, if Dina hears back for, you know, gives me feedback that um, one of you, would like to have a meeting on Monday. Is Monday doable for all of us? Well, that's kind of looks to me. It's going to be a long. Yeah, Monday morning I could do. So, Steve, just for your reference, right now we've got right now we've got uh, four hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars. And 22 and 23 for, 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 and so we might have to think about how we so you got Goose Pond Road Hughes Hill we, we, from your recommendation of 274 and pay Goose Pond Road 200 so we just got to be careful that we kind of do both things like you said that you don't end up where you end up with something that's not right plowable right. So the hill the hill would definitely have to be repaved the rest could wait so I don't know if that Goose Pond Hill the number we put at 274 that you had so you get if, if that um, included paving. I'm sure it didn't. I don't think it did. So, okay. Hmm. You see where we're conflicting? I do. Yeah. I do. Okay. Okay. So what where I was at <clears throat> is that if if it's an <clears throat> 
option if you think if either Ben or Judy Dina if they think it's a good option to consider then we could schedule for Monday sometime for a special meeting to decide mm -hmm. in the morning in the morning mm -hmm. okay Any, yeah. okay so nine o'clock Monday morning if we need it decision to be made Friday so that Dean has time to warn the meeting Okay. Maybe Friday by noon. No. I don't. I don't have. I don't have. I don't have the answer, right? I don't. I haven't. Yeah, I want to think about it a little bit too. Um, all I'm trying to articulate is is that this would be the one year where we could do it and still achieve what we said we were going to do. But it is very late. Uh, I'm not sure what the impact would be to the town, to the budget committee, as far as. You know their feedback and input I mean we run a bit of a risk there but if it's still if you decide that it's the right thing to do then we'll just have to work our way through that okay yep. okay 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 um, go ahead Steve uh, like I like I said if, if the worst case scenario for Goose Pond if I can find 10 and 12 grand to mend the hill to buy us some time every roads negotiable if you slow down depends on how fast people want to travel if they declare a road it's untravelable or unsafe you know goose pond speeds i mean <laughs> well, it's going to go too fast down the hill now no but it's you know <laughs> or up no <laughs> but it's you, know, every, you could go on any road if you go to, if you go the right speed and just one thing i just didn't want to forget this point um when you and you talked about a little town meeting about posting the schedule of all of our equipment and stuff i just wanted to put a reminder now one comment was about the constant barrage of equipment that we've seen we've got lately the reason for that is, you probably don't remember, but in the great 2007-8 recession, we put everything off from the loader, backhoe, trucks to greater, everything was, we put a little money in to fix it, mm -hmm. and it was all bumped back at least five years, some of it longer. So we bought everything a lot of extra time. That's why everything seems like all at once that it's mm -hmm. accumulating, which it does seem that way, but that's, that's one of the reasons. Yeah. The other thing I've got, um, if I need to remind you that, is that we should um, slap draft on top of that. Or work in progress. Whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Because yeah. uh, yeah. we were asked to post it, and so I think um, fairly we should you know, say work in progress or draft. You know how you got the little watermark of draft? Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be best. Yeah, because it is fluid. It's, it's, it's exactly. Well, based on what we talked about earlier. Yeah. Until we're aligned, then I want it to stay draft form so that we're in agreement. Okay? Alrighty. Anything else for Steve? Steve, anything? I don't have anything that's pressing I can think of. So Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Very Thank much. you. Appreciate good it. Day. Good work. Good discussion. Okay. So I think next on the agenda was Dave, David's at what time? He said 9.30 because you were going to have public comment at 10. Oh. Okay, David, come on in. <laughs> yeah, it's 9.30. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Somewhere. It's okay. Yeah. Sir. So I don't have a whole lot. Um, the planning board has been uh, you know, dealing with getting ready for town meeting, little town meeting. A uh, couple of issues, not issues, but um, things are coming up. Uh, they're going to be looking at a lot line adjustment next week for David Roby. Um, seems very simple. I don't see any issues uh, with it. And then the. In fact, that's already been to them before. Uh, heads up. January, they were looking at it preliminarily, David Roby. Yeah, I, I passed it out to them. Yeah, but, okay. Um, this is the actual, going to be the actual hearing. Right, okay. Um, and then. Crossroads is uh, going forward with their plans for the middle school. Um, they're going to the, they went to the Conservation Commission last night, not last night, that's not sorry, Monday, Monday night. Sorry, I think it's Tuesday. Um, so they went Monday night uh, for some wetlands um, intrusions for the middle school. Uh, there's, they're, where they're going to cut their new driveway in is going to be part of what's considered steep slopes, so they have to have the planning board review that. So they're going to do that at next week's meeting. Uh, and then their, their plan is to go to the zoning board for 
the 19th for special exceptions for those intrusions. Um, I'm still a little hesitant. I'm, I'm very happy with their plan for changing the easement. I think it's an excellent plan. Um, but the old easement is still in place. And I'm not sure. I need to probably talk to town council to see if the board can give an approval with that easement still in place. Or maybe they can do it conditionally. Um, and I'm not sure what the, the select board would like to. Yeah, I think your thoughts are good. I thought at the last meeting, yeah, you guys decided that that needed to be addressed before any final. We said that okay. we, that's what we said. Um, that's I, what I read like. I just wanted to make sure that I'm yeah. reading the board correctly on that. And that I think it's very doable that you can, you can uh, conditionally sign the new one, then when the other one goes away, then you resign. But if you want to talk to council to make sure that oh, the process absolutely. is good. Yeah, right. I think that's, you know, I, I have no... I think that's I'm, prudent. Yeah. Um, so I just want to make sure that I'm not going to, the board's not really unhappy with me for bringing it up. <laughs> that, that, you know, the, pretty much the zoning board asking them to make it conditional on the new easement yep. being signed by the select board. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so you just need a note to remember if... When everything is completed, we check to make sure that there's been a voiding and then an update of all the signatures or all the plans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, and other than that, I have really nothing. It's a slow Absolutely. time of the year. Yeah. Good thing you came in at 9 30. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so while David's here, just to address something that popped in this morning, and I, I wanted to catch it at the beginning of the meeting. But since we had some early morning guests. Um, so David's volunteered, if you will, today. There's you know more discussion going on with Margaret with uh, the, on the E and D side of how we respond to um, the virus. And I guess the message David is is just sort of hold tight for now. Thank you for offering. Um, we've got the team that you know is sort of spelled out in the letter here. You know, our involvement as a board, mostly as I described it to this team, is from a, as from a, a select board perspective, is from a financial aspect and then also from a um, legal aspect to try to make sure that we're aware of what's going on. Um, and then secondarily, my position as the deputy EMD obviously keeps me heavily involved. It's actually turned out to be where um, time and meetings and phone conferences and listening in is starting to take more and more time. more and more time. With that said, you need to keep in mind who the um, deputy, if you will, or vice chair is mm -hmm. uh, for this in that, you know, if it starts to get where I'm really, really busy, it might end up where you're a two-person board at some point in time. That could happen. Um, but what I was wanted David to hear just so that I didn't have to send an email is hold tight for now because this team as it gets organized, since it's a little bit outside of our normal response um, members, you know, we've got some of our standard members, you know, Bill Waste on the information side, we've got our, you know, health providers on, that, and on some of the other things that we would normally have with um, emergency services, if you will. But there's other players that are getting involved. So right now we're doing a little bit of what I call storming and forming to make sure that the rules and responsibilities are falling in place. We're going to have a phone call at, at um, 1 o'clock with another uh, group of people that are trying to manage for the whole upper valley. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got, you know, we've got the state response with respect to our emergency management. We've got the state health department you know, that are working down this chain. And now we've got the upper valley um, group that's going to have a conference call at 1. Then we've also got if you go to anyone's website, if you go to the Dartmouth website, they, they've cranked up their emergency response and how they're organized and things they've got to do. Very well done, by the way. And the same, same for Hanover. And then on their website, they've got things populated. So one of the requests this morning it was for David to maybe populate some stuff onto our website. So where this is going is that I think right now we just got to wait and see to make sure we're collectively getting the right information in the right place. Um, so... Yes. Um, <coughs> I think if we made a place for it on mm -hmm. the website, which David could do, and put the 
the letter that mm -hmm. the handout from mm -hmm. Little Town Meeting, and then something I was going to mention later, but this is an appropriate time on the list serve. Mm -hmm. Just a note that go to the website if you have questions. We're beginning to mm -hmm. put information there. Right. Could, could we put that? video they played at Little Town Meeting on the website. Yes. That was a great video. There's a lot of, there's a lot, so this, notice how you're coming up with all these ideas. There's all these groups coming up with all these ideas. Uh, yeah. And so Margaret and I are trying to get our arms around sure. when I said the storming and forming. So we're trying to be a form together so that we've got a cohesive, um, but those are good ideas. And so I, I passed on to the government Little Town Meeting and, and I told them it was very good. That, I mean, they're wiping down all the great all the chairs right. and wipe it down the microphone. And the school, the school has done, uh, they, they've, got, they've got their own, and they spent a yeah. lot of time organizing and putting into place exactly things like that. So, he uh, wasn't very pleased with the, the position. The did what he did. I, I would, I would guess that it might be difficult for him to hold on to his job. I did, I did, I did. I, I'm not sure I know what you mean, but anyways, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Oh, so, oh, no, no, so um, Margaret on her website on the town web page has been populating, but the point is, is that unless you know it's there, mm -hmm. you probably won't find it. And so Dina's position, actually our assistant to Dina's position, was the one that had the responsibility for pointing people from the listserv to our website. Um, and, I, and I can only assume that in that position's absence that Dina's able to fill in as best she can. Um, with doing that. So, I will uh, mention that to Margaret and, and, and work with Dina. She's actually on the, our work team also for, thi that. for things like this. And um, maybe, depending on Margaret's direction, is we will point people you know, on the listserv either towards the town website or to Margaret's. Right. She, she's got every, everything that we just talked about. She's got basically populated in right. her Well, we don't need area. to recreate yeah. something, yeah. but we need to let people know where to go, and that exactly. should be so over the That letter is already in two places on the website to fall on the front page. So, you know, it just it kind of brings up the, the website and looks. Right. They will see. Got it. Um, so we're just going to zip something out to the listserv yes. that reminds people to go there to find it. If Margaret's ready, to, when she when she's ready to do that, and the video, you it's not. It's not. I don't want it to be the. I don't. If if we have it come from the select board, then we've got one more sort of. Um, I think our our role right now is just to support what. Yeah. Mar it, it's really command and control. Margaret, right now for this incident, she's the one. We're basically feeding in and supporting her. Well, and so it's going to go. That was the very. I think the biggest thing that I took, not the biggest thing that I took away, but because the importance of all this is very important, but was that Margaret was very clear that anything that gets put out on the listserv, on the web page, be cleared with her. Exactly. And I get it. It's all about what I call it, right. command and control. And, <laughs> right. and, and it's, it's, she has to control the message because otherwise it can go all over the board. Okay, okay. So she's going to get in touch with David, to, or not? David's I mean, not involved until we until we need him. Because I saw it, there was a request this morning, back and back and forth right. between the library and, and um, Margaret, and they were brainstorming. Right, David kindly because he was gotten he sees me on the email, David and Dina, and David just said, you know, just let me know where I can help. Okay. So, so so I'm just saying, until we figure out exactly what we want to do, hold tight. And then it'll be Margaret's decision on, on how we populate. Second, second part of the conversation is, I think we're we've already got a practice of putting things on the listserv and pointing people to our website. We've done that in the past. We we have we we said that, you know we, I think I know I've seen it in the past. Oh yeah, we've said before, please you know check the website or whatever. Because there's no, we haven't. Post actually posted things on the website. I mean, on the list. Right. Um, recently, at least. Um, but the reminder was started, like on a I don't know what Patty was doing. It was every weekly or every other yeah. week. 
saying, don't forget to check the website for new information. Right. Uh, don't forget you can sign on and get all the notices. You know, we're trying to get people to get used to going to the webpage, not the listserv for information, the town's official communication that we pay money for. <laughs> so let's just talk about that for a second, because I, um, I know there's been some, right. some buzz about it. So I, me, I think we're, our, we've got in place what we need. We've been shorthanded, so it hasn't happened as often. And what I'm referring to is, is that if we have something that's urgent, like we are just talking about, if we have a change to a committee or board meeting schedule that people would not be aware of, I think working it through Dina, where she basically can put something on the listserv and points people to our web page that says select board meet, you know, has been rescheduled, for example. Please see town web page and, and have a link. Mm -hmm. Just, I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable, if you will. Yeah, I think that conforms with yeah. where we've been. Well, make, make it easy so they, while they're reading on the listserv, they just poke it and automatically go. Great. Have the link right there. Have the link right there and have it automatically go to the website. Right. And that's easy. Okay. <laughs> well, it's easy. But see, that's why I've been that's why I've been a little reluctant to really work this or work it too hard, is because guess who we just loaded up? Well, that's not loading up. That's fine. But, well, I mean it's, it's easy. It's, it's I'm go I ahead. won't tell you where I'm coming from. So, you know, there comes a time when people Okay, so, we'll do it. That's right. Yes, it, there you go. Well, that's Thank you. Works. You know, you, you, if they have to go separately, that delay will be enough. So they're not well, we it. want them to have it right on their browser so they go right to it well, every day. Well, I know, day. but training, training people. The list but service We have there. a change of meetings, and that's what we did that, that brought this all up. Right. Uh, just have the link right there when they read the listserv they poke the link in right. there they're on that's, the that's, that's fair right because I mean, unless you study unless fair. you study our home page every day it is fair but i do i would love the board members as they speak to people in the public <laughs> to say we have this great web page please join it so that you will automatically get these notices then they wouldn't even have to right go I, to I didn't know that vehicle yes that's what we've been saying I'm going to help when you out David, here. I'm going to help you out here a little bit. I just signed up for it yeah. six months ago. So. <laughs> so when David posts a meeting, I don't think there's an automatic board. notice that goes to anybody who has joined it. Oh, I'll have to join it. It's very <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad this meeting's being taped. Everybody join it. <laughs> Set the right example. Sign up. That's right. I've already, I've already had 785 messages from <laughs> you know, hate, you hate all my emails. I'm going to send more just to irritate him. Copy right. him on everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Double okay. copy. Okay. 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 I wouldn't know that, but my I computer think, tells me how many messages. Thank you for your offer to help. help. Oh, no problem. I'm, I'm sure we will utilize your services. Oh, I'm sure he'll be busy with that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's very nice. But this will be good. I think this will help. The listserv. Yes. Reminder thing. Thank you. Anything else? I have nothing. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Enjoy the quiet of your office. <laughs> ten, ten, ten. I have a question. Excuse me. Ten, 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 we're, ten, ten. We're almost getting back on schedule. Okay. My meeting, ma'am, you'll get in one second. Okay. Ten, ten, we're almost back on schedule. Public comments. <laughs> you want to you move your... Uh, if you board. insist, I will move it. Yeah, I, I, what I'd like is... You know, I'm thinking about it while we're doing it. If we, if there is somebody who doesn't want to get video, just have it so there's a chair in front of it they can sit or beside it. Um, is that an option? This is a public meeting. Yeah. And if we're videotaping it. Yeah. If people have a right to not be videotaped. Okay. Oh, sorry. So what was your okay, question? Okay, my question. For David. Um, is the planning board, I understand, asked for a map of the properties on Route 10 regarding Article 2? Yeah, John asked for, yes, he did. Yeah. Did you develop that? Uh, and, he did that. And would, he developed it. I gave him a map that was already, had been part of the uh, master plan. I believe that's where it came from. I'd have to double check where it came okay. from. But he then blew it up and then drew in his own 
What, what's the request? So what do you well, need? Well, we'd like a copy of it. If Give me about 30 seconds and I'll bring you a copy. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Okay, let me just shut this off for a second. Go ahead and study it up. Okay. See. We'll take time. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Is it showing the audience? What is that? that? I said it can't wait until next week. Oh, it can't? No. Okay, so. The manifest can't, no. There's this one. Um, um, this is the motor vehicle municipal money. Um, two checks. I didn't send that in the thing because it's a whole no. separate thing. Okay. And then here's the manifest for this week. See, now you wish you'd done your hair and your makeup. <laughs> I do my hair with it, yeah. I see, I know it's so good. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those. There you are. Thank you very much. You will try to copy that too. I don't have electronic copies. I see. I see. Oh, shoot. Oh, good. Thank you. Ambulances. Uh -huh. Do we, uh, I'm guessing. Well, we don't know if those were skiway or not, but mostly they get reimbursed. We know if they're skiway or not. If they're skiway or not, I do not. If they're skiway, I do not pay them. I bill uh, the skiway. Okay. And they pay them, um, or I pay them, and then the skiway pays us. Either or. Um, those two are not, and the two people are being billed they, okay. they, by us. And and mostly, we, I know in the old days. Sometimes collecting, especially from the skiway, but uh, we didn't use to build the skiway, we used to build an individual, and we often didn't get any no. Right. The, the billing company for the ambulance bills the person three times first. So it doesn't come to, come to us until after they've done that. So generally, we like to think that the money goes to them first <laughs> within those three bills. Okay. <clears throat> so, we had a system down moderators. Have we? Yeah. We always do. And they're appointed. Yeah. Yes. Good idea. It is. Um, so does that answer your question, Judy? Okay. So we don't have a big problem usually collecting is what I'm... No. Well, it's a challenge, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just depends on the person. Especially if they live in town or not. Mm -hmm. If they live in town, they tend to be more receptive. And if they don't, we sort of... I don't that. understand why they're getting billed. <laughs> but it, it, and it sometimes takes until we send them a letter that says they're going to go to small claims court. Then they usually pay attention. Anything else on your desk there? Do you have any questions? Okay, good. Um, I wanted to report that the Conservation Commission approved the money. I'm not stealing your thunder, but um, the grant will be sent off to the state for the mill foil. So we are fully covered as far as no amount to be raised? Correct. Because we don't have to ask the taxpayers for any money. Thank you, Conservation Commission. There's a letter here for you guys to read, not for the meeting, but for after. Um, and I had a couple of um, things from Little Town Meeting, which I'm sure we'll do mm -hmm. in that. The only one other thing I had, which I forgot when David was here, darn it. This is the application for the permit for that section of the road that we had done. And of course, you know, I just sent it in. Um, and DES politely sent me a letter back saying that it's bad form. I didn't have everything I needed. So I actually talked with David. I had him look at this, and I'm like, yeah. So um, if the board is willing, David is willing to look at this, take it on, and see what I'm missing, and address it, because he's good at that. Well, one of the, one of the things we, I think, and we can reinforce if you want is that we've already asked David to basically become our subject matter expert for permitting, which kind of gets me back to what Dennis was saying, in that depending on the outcome of Tuesday night, if River Road North Bedford starts up, we need to remember that the... Start permitting quick. Excuse me? Start permitting quick. Exactly. Right. And, it's, and it's the Corps of Engineers are going to do the federal aspect right. of it, so we're going to need their design 
um, for us to start the permitting process on our side with David, and I'm, it'll be interesting to see how well we can do internally without, because it's going to be big. That one is going to be it, it's, it's going to be a lot of work. And this one got sent in just because mainly it was all, um, it was all done, it was all there. It had been engineered, there were plans, everything was done, the permit was filled out. So of course I just assumed everything was there. Well, one, two, three, four, four right. five, six, seven, eight things that, right. so anyways, so if you guys are okay, David's yeah. okay. Yep. Okay, thank yep. you. Yep. Good. That would be great. No, I'm going to ask a couple comments. Yeah, I will. Okay, go ahead. No, I, I was hoping you could finish up your... Other than my non-public, I think I'm all set. Okay. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Public comments? Yes. First off, I want to say I'm very pleased with the town's response to COVID-19. This is exactly what you should be doing. You should be, I mean, in the face of this uncertainty, you should be saying, this is what we know. We're thinking about this stuff. We're trying to figure out what, what we're going to do. Um, thank you. That's good. Um, I also appreciate your today's decision to post meeting changes and all on the list. Because you're right, Ben. Not everybody reads the town website every day. Nobody will ever read the town's website every day. As, as hard as you work to make it good. It's especially difficult when we get a sudden change. And yeah. Right. If you're anticipating and it, then nobody really can I was in the paying attention wants to come in anyway. So, right. uh, And so, yes, I strongly support putting just a short note, planning board meeting, uh, in this case, select board meeting, special meeting on Monday, see the website for details. Right. And, and the, way, the automatic link really will make it work and get people paying attention. And a note says, please join the website. <laughs> it's actually down at the bottom. With a smiley face. Of everyone that goes it out, is. it actually has yeah. the, 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 the okay. And in fact, uh, I, I mentioned this to David. I won't even mention it to you. It's under control. I'm sure. Uh, and now the real reason for me coming in, I have a question. That it's a simple question, but I don't know if it's an easy answer. Uh, can a committee member announce their, can their candidacy on the list, sir? So, could I, as an alternate of the planning board, announce a short position statement on the list? I, I think I can answer that. Okay. Perhaps not 100% legally, but what traditionally has been done is that gets posted on the website, yes. and you can go to the listserv and say, please see the website for my position statement or my candidacy statement. So, which we could, which which we could ask Patty um, tomorrow to, because she sent out a note on the list serve that said, hey, if you want to get um, your bio, bio, yeah, right. of what, you know, yeah. which I've done, which yeah, yeah, yeah. it's already but, there. But then, yeah. but then, but then we, we we could actually, in with coordination with Dina, basically say, hey, these pop the people that are running have populated, and here's the link again. And I think we've done that in past years. Well, we have a whole list, I think, of things that need to go out on the list there to remind people to go look at the web on, and we could add mm -hmm. that to it. But also, I think it. It, we could. But With respect I, to town meeting, you mean? I mm -hmm. believe as an individual that you could do that. Is that, does that make sense? But I don't know. Can I ask you? Your question is because you're already on the planning board. Correct. That's right. If I That's were, the issue. if I were John Public, right, I just moved to town and I say, sure. hey, I want to, you know, right. That's, that's an easy one. Okay. That's an easy yes. Okay. The the, the 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 little bit of gray area would be, let's say, let's take a different. Um, a, a, I'm there. I'm in position. Would I? Would you be comfortable of a elected person going to the listserv saying, please vote for me? I think what they say is. Please go to the website. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. But then here's here's the gray area. Here's an alternate. Well, just, well, just, go ahead. just fleshing it out. All right. So so now you got an alternate who wasn't necessarily elected, but nominated by the board. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's a little bit gray. But I guess I guess my thoughts would be to answer the question. I don't know if there's any necessarily town um, policy that specific. Mm -hmm. 
but it, it sounds like that, so you, since you do work actively on the board, probably sticking to what I would do if I was going to mm -hmm. run again next year mm -hmm. would be to do it as we talk, where we could point people, we say we populate, we could get with Patricia, Patty Jenks, and get her to say, okay, do we have everybody's letters in? Can we one more time push out that here's the link to the, on the website, the town website, where people have put their position papers or whatever you want to call them? How's that? that, so that's that yes to both. That I could send a note that says my position's on the town website. Oh. Um. Yeah, I, I think you just got to be careful. Freedom of speech, you know. Yeah, I'll I, just squill him and say, you know, you can't do that. Yeah, I think you uh, can. I, I have yeah. no problem with him doing that. <coughs> or you, you do. do. I don't have any problem. Right. No, He's I not don't. putting the, the not thing on the paper. Right. Right. So, so, no so, on the yeah. website. So, okay, so I, I just want to get this square in my mind. So maybe I misspoke. So let so um, next year, <laughs> if I was to come to you and say I want to put my bio out on the listserv. You'd be okay? No. No, well, we you could say go to the town website and read my bio. You could go to the listserv and say, Kevin here, I am running yeah. for another term. Mm -hmm. Please go to the website and see. And just you can put so a is that the link same button in there and let that, them click it. Is that the same advice we're giving Rich? I thought yeah. it was. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, when you started talking about freedom of speech, I thought maybe I had taken two far of a position, but I, I think what I've heard is, is that I, yeah. Go ahead, Nina. Well, I was just going to say, we have to remember yes. that people, whether they're elected or appointed, are citizens Still. of the town of Lyme, and they should have the right to just freedom like of speech. Else. I'm an employee. I don't have that right. <laughs> I mean, I do to a point, but it's, you know, it's a little different. Well, no, it should be equal yeah. for everybody, right. who regardless of who's running. So you just want to make sure. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to figure out how to sign up for news and announcements. <laughs> yeah, can you hold it the hand, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, let, let's 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 finish where we're at because I I'm not sure we got closure. Okay. He asked a question. I'm asking the board. What's the what's what's the answer? What's the advice? The advice is make sure it's on the website. So through Patty or whoever. Mm -hmm. And two, he may go to the listserv mm -hmm. and say, I'm running. Check the website. Okay. How's that? That's true. Okay. Yep. What else? Any other public comments? But thank you for no. checking. Appreciate yes. that. Well, I made a very solemn promise to the planning board last year, about a year ago, that I would be very respectful of policy, and I just don't want to okay. not be respectful. So very good. good. Thank you. Okay. That's it. That's it for me. Thanks. I don't know if you're done. So <laughs> you have something. Well, I just tried to sign up for news and announcements. I thought I had before, but I can't figure out how to do it. I can't find it anywhere. There's a subscribe on the bottom. On the very home page. Yeah, the home page. Way maybe, the you can, maybe you can work that offline. Right. If yeah. you don't mind. You guys keep going. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'll give instructions. No, I'm going to send that. Okay. <laughs> Matters arising, new business. The one thing I was trying to remember previously due to the new book, the agenda, was just to make sure that the board was aware of what's going on with respect to the EOC and Margaret and our response. Anyone else? Matters arising, new business? Okay. Review little town meeting. I guess what I'd like to do is... Um, Get your thoughts on re realistically what adjustments we can see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you had an action item to either bring to town meeting or now that we have a website to put on the website. The um, he, the discussions did not occur the way they have in recent years, mm -hmm. and what you. What I've found is that your little town meeting becomes a town meeting, mm -hmm. and then you repeat it all, right. usually with the same people right. um, at town meeting. So it does begin to seem like you're double dipping, or yeah, it, it, it's kind of lengthy, and um, 
Well, the, the, the warrant article, articles after the, anything that's um, controversial, or, um, and there certainly was an exodus as mm -hmm. soon as we got done talking about anything. That, yeah. Uh, the, high, the high interest area. Yeah. 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 And yeah. The, the meeting left. Um, and I'm not sure there was. Uh, yeah, we, from we, my we, point, we had responses, but I'm not sure there was anything. I don't know much if we could, that we needed to provide more of because they weren't really looking for absent material. They wanted to express opinions. And, um, I'm just curious. I mean, it's really the usually, moderators. You know, I mean, Kevin's yeah, you know, done it long enough that he had a, a he feel for. Tried to keep it. But I just I was just trying to learn for myself, yeah. you know, because I had feedback. I had feedback I afterwards that was like, why did you spend any time on any of this? On any of that, because isn't that supposed to be with town meeting? And so I didn't really know what the historical, you know. Historically, it was very. It'll get rehashed for town meeting. It will get, but historically, it was really to try and point to some place that to they give the selectmen a week mm -hmm. to find information to further clarify. clarify. The paper, that was paper you handed out was good. I saw a lot of people reading them yep. during the meeting. Yep. I think Judy's point is exactly what is the best benefit for a little town meeting, mm. other than discussing planning and zoning stuff, mm -hmm, that you mm -hmm, can't mm -hmm, do that day, right. is that any additional information that you may need to get ready and come up and look up and figure out and have for town meeting. And that's usually very helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that helps me. Good. The only other thing, you know, if, if we have, we know there's going to be articles that are, there's going to be a lot of talk on, might be a good idea to load them up in the beginning of the meeting, move the rest of the meeting, uh, yeah. let the rest of the meeting move along quickly, which it would have. Yeah. You know, people are waiting to speak for Article 16. Uh, right. Is that smart? That's... That would come from, from the floor. That would come from the floor. Somebody would meeting. make a, a motion to move it out of order. Yeah, yeah. let's take it first. Well, the very first thing I'm just talking another year. Because we know what's going to generate discussion. Right. We know that going I guess that's a combination of the moderator and the floor yeah. mm -hmm. decision mm -hmm. as far as moving discussion yeah. around. Right. Okay, so the next agenda item was to talk about town meeting. In preparation for that, I started something that looks like this. You know I like pictures. I don't need to. They all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same. <laughs> Come on, Ben. Some have more color than others. So basically what I labeled it was a 2002 question and answer for March Town Meeting. In a way, you could call them uh, speaker's notes, select board's notes. And so you know we've got our assignments for all the articles. And so what I started to do was to populate a lot of what I've got stored in my head, but sometimes in the moment you don't necessarily remember. Yeah. And so if you would like, once I finish later on today, the articles that I'm responsible for, I can forward this to Dina and she can send it out to you and then you can populate it. The other thing that it um, does is it lets you see each one of us, you know, it, it, I've only got like for some things, like for example, um, the CRF. I mean, all I did was say funding remains healthy at 425, and then brackets on those 7% less than 2019. I mean, I thought that's you know mm -hmm. something that, that if it comes up, at least I know, okay, that's 7% less than 2019, because someone asked, you know, well, we went from 459 to 4 and a quarter. So even though that's <clears throat> Judy's thing, you can add whatever bullet. You no, th th those, are, those are good, because rather than stumbling over looking for Pieces of Pieces paper. Of Judy has so much paper in front of her that. <laughs> anyway, she works well from paper. I know she's these, these, very these, these, could, these are really meant for us, and it's really yeah. meant for the individual. So you can you can do as much or as little as you think you want, and then when it's all done, feed them back to Dina, so that on Monday all three of us will see the collective yeah. sheet, and then we're basically mm -hmm. save the jokes, all on the same page. <laughs> Okay, so I'll do that. I'll, I'll send my draft. I'll send my draft out um, no later than early tomorrow morning. Okay, I just when I saw it on the agenda today, I started thinking right. about um, you know what would be helpful. And we, we did have assignments. So yeah, 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 yeah. No, that, that's and that we can actually put them. I could put them on this to, to double re, refresh if you will. I could put article you know for the budget for article four or whatever. 
you know, have, if that's helped. You know, but oh, no. I, um, whatever. You can. We can. Handwrite it. Um, well, but I, for I, setup, I was thinking I was. That's next. Okay. Well, can I say a couple of things? Do you, oh, yeah. do you not want to hear my opinions? <laughs> oh. For a little town have, meeting? I just have a, a, a few things that I picked up on in the audience mm -hmm. and listening to people that I think you guys need to um, clarify better. Go ahead. Um, one is uh, that the police cruiser is being paid for out of the Capital Reserve Fund. It's clear to me there are a few people who think that money has been taken out of the operating budget and is being used to pay off the police cruiser. Good point. Really? Good point. Yeah. Okay. So I would not have thought that was one thing. Well, I was very surprised, anyways. There's okay. and there's even a listserv Good one. message on that too. Um, the the 250 truck needs to be made clear that is not a ha highway not department a highway. truck, mm -hmm. but that is our maintenance department's truck. And even if in the future it get used for plowing, it's still not a highway truck. It's a maintenance truck. Um, I was going to add some only when it came up, but the the truck was we selected it because the an F one fifty was the same price as the F two fifty, and that oh, gave us more versatility in yeah. the future. Right. And we're not going to get into a discussion of. Um, what what make, whether it's no, and actually, <laughs> no. it was based right. on price, right? right. Uh, and and the, and the warranty and the, and yeah. all that. The 250 is covered more because of the plow, it's ready for the plow, and all that stuff. Um, and it comes with a chainsaw, and it comes with a chainsaw, <laughs> and a whipper, and uh, all kinds of good stuff. Um, uh, okay, and now it's the candidates. Oh, and then the other thing is, is that I know through the grapevine that you're going to get. Um, a lot of questions on the beach, sure. and why is the money missing, and blah blah blah, and what is what is going to be the plan this year? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it would behoove you to mm -hmm. write a little synopsis that we can put on so the that, web, yeah, along but, with the other budget stuff that we're so, going to put on the web. Wow. So on this, I basically you know I've got where we. Mm -hmm. the, 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 Cut and paste from where we had cost reduction. So under the beach, you know, I said eliminate beach lifeguards and beach supervisor. Beach is still open. Swim at your risk. Pond learn to swim program remains. So those are the talking points. Right. So that's a, a place where you could capture it. Um, it was. Dean is Dean is actually driving to another question or another yeah. another action item. We said that we would post the draft um, replacement schedule. Mm -hmm. Uh, where people could find it. Where, how? What, what's your plans for that? Where are you going to? Where is that going to live? This piece of paper here. Um, well, I thought after today's meeting, we'll get whatever info together. Mm -hmm. um, and David is going to. He, I will ask him to post on the web page, mm -hmm. and he can do a new green bar at the top that will say, you know. I don't know, information from Little Town Meeting or additional information for Town Meeting or whatever. And then it'll all be right there. And then when I write on the listserv, I'll say, go you know, to go the to the page. Mm -hmm. To the home page, left side, green Click bar. This link. Yeah. And, okay, so we'll I'm, I'm with whatever. you on that because we did promise we did promise right. folks the um, the maintenance the, schedule. Replacement, replacement schedule. schedule, right. I'm not I'm not the only other thing, what else do you think would go there? You already talked about the pond program. Right. What, what, or what, or the beach program? Whatever you want to call it. What else would you think would go there? Um, from the meeting, well, I just think any additional information you can give out to clarify any questions is good. So we can I, I, I'm going to push back. I'm pushing back and stretching. We could pop. We could. We could spend days populating that. I, I'm not sure how to pick and shoot. Got that many questions. I mean, it's really the police cruiser, the truck. But the, did um, remind beach, me? Did, the, did, well, did the beach even come up at the meeting? The beach did not come up. No, it, it didn't. Came up but afterwards. It came up about 20 and, people after. And it was. Um, I spoke to somebody on the way out. On the list. So I, 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 I get. I get it. It's a high. It's a high visible high. You know. So. So maybe that's one other thing. But I. 
there's a whole bunch we could put out. I mean, we could, you yeah. know, we could put the report from the Corps of Engineers um, for the rebuilding of North Africa. I mean, to uh, me, I don't think you know, reading, should... reading that to get informed, because I, I, my critique of myself, you know, we're asking for $560,000, but I didn't really, we're asking for two hundred of that, but I didn't really spend much time, possibly because of the difference between Little Town Meeting and, and Big Town Meeting, explaining why we wanted to have that project. So all I'm suggesting is there's a lot we could populate ahead of time. Yeah, I but, think we've done that though pretty much. I mean, well, it, it, uh, I don't think anyone's, I don't think very few people are aware of what the Corps of Engineers has put together to put a well, summary of, for that project. Well, they're either going to ask or they're not. And, 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 and I don't think they're interested really. No. <laughs> there's one guy. Sorry. Is, one guy. Well, yes. One guy, and he'll come in and look at the plans. Yeah, so we got high, that, high interest on the, you know. Well, let's not make this more complicated than need be. All so we need let's on, put this on. on. The, all we need on the beach is to be able to get a couple, you know, short explanations of why we came to our decision. I don't even think you know, know, no, wait, 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 what I'm hearing more No, no, of, no I'm talking about when they ask questions. But, well, what I'm, what I'm talking more of is people need to hear that the beach is still going to be open. Right. That it's still going to be available for them to use and that the pond program is still going to go on. They may not like the idea that there's no lifeguards, but they, they don't even know that's that. That's already And when we get, when we get well, to, it's not, it's, it is going, it's not on a website, you know. Um, but when we get to town meeting and we have the more detailed discussions on the OPEX, that's exactly where we're going to capture that. And that's what I was suggesting with these bullets, to take on board the things. I, I'm reluctant to put out something onto the list that says, here's all the talking points that we no, sort of I learned. Do that. Well, that's not what I meant. Well, I, that's okay. Well, I just, here's, here was my only idea about that, was that what happens is then, then the operating budget comes up. And then all of a sudden, somebody stands up and says, I want to put $15,000 back in the budget because I want lifeguards. And then it turns into this, because, because I want lifeguards because I want to be able to use the beach. And it's because they don't understand that they still can use the beach. And then it turns into a lengthy, huge discussion, sure. which is fine. I'm just no, it's gonna happen. trying to get... Yeah, and, I and, and, and the same thing, but then... That's fine. To, I know you're trying to put out information ahead of time that would inform people so to minimize that amount of yeah, you can extra time. But the, the thing is we should do then we gotta do the same thing for this continuing river road. Saint the logic holds. Except that, that was brought up and discussed right. and the beach wasn't but, even brought up. But there's up. gonna be new people I there's all I'm all I think is I think the one my view is that this needs to get Posted because it yep. was requested. It's hard. Absolutely. It's hard to disseminate that information in words yes. in, a, in a big audience. And all the other things, you know, we'll do our best to capture all these bullets because they're important. I mean, the beach is still open. I think is a really, really yeah. important thing that people, you know, if you're not aware or you just leave, read reading off the listserv, your first read is, gee, can't the beach, go to the beach, can't go to the beach anymore. I will just send the info to uh, Mr. Herschler who requested it yeah. and if he chooses to put it on the list there you go that's his. he can do that yeah let's let's do it that way thanks he's the one who's really oh I well it just as we'd address any other thing like this I think the you know the feedback from the board through Dina to the one individuals to let them know we're listening but it helps us to think about what do we need to um, yeah. emphasize at town meeting because it, it gives us a feel of what's going to be important to be discussed and what I sent you in the email was okay. Yes, sir. Was for that me. is your you're gonna put the ropes out. Yep. No docks, no float. But, um we're gonna put the ropes out. We may put the docks out, we will not have a float. And we haven't had a conversation about that. Okay. And it will pack in, pack out, it yeah. will be posted Everything for soon at your own good. risk. There will be some play equipment there, which isn't well the have you have you seen that's the rec commission. The rec commission yeah, exactly. the whole rest of it. But that enhances the yeah. beach area yeah. as a recreation area. Do you want to, I am more than glad to have you work with Dina to, but do you want to embellish Dina's response? Okay. Just, just so that if it does end up with wide distribution, it gets all the things, all the points that you want. So it's up to you. 
Okay. I'm I, happy I'm with. I'm just sending it to Russell. That's I know. All. I know. He's the only one. I know. I know. I, I'm happy with this. Or if you want to make it, if you want to uh, adjust it, do fine. Okay. Okay. I'll have a look at it. Okay. Yeah. I um. Uh, let's move. Yeah. Let's move. You can you can do that offline. I'm okay. happy happy with whatever you come up with. All right. Okay. Any other things prepping for town meeting? Set up. Set up. Monday night. Five o'clock? That's sort of the Saturday. traditional... Um, Takes about a half an hour usually. Maybe a little bit longer, you know, with the booze and then a little bit of adjustment with the moderator's adjustments once he arrives. And he's, oh, by the way, before I forget, he's adamant that the when we go to take down, he's adamant that the barrier that we put up, the rope barrier, mm. stays in place so that the um, vote counter people don't get disturbed. So just reminding me my uh, an anxiousness to get everything put away, then I leave that up until the voting count has been completed. Okay. So yeah, so five o'clock um, would be good. Ben, we're going to bank on your um, projector. Yeah, you like it. Oh, it's a great projector, yeah. Um, should we send whatever we think we might project to Ben so that's on his machine so that your clicker works so we don't yeah, have to go through? Because we have, we have little clicker advancement uh, challenges. <laughs> Five and a half years engineering yep. school down the drain. Couldn't figure it out. See? See? Welcome and, to my world. Yeah, and if I you have a, <laughs> somebody has a, that my pointer will only stay on so long if it's not used and it shuts off so you gotta re to repress the two buttons to recharge it to get yeah. it back on. I don't anticipate <clears throat> almost like little town meeting, I think once those eight slides are completed, I don't anticipate us needing a lot of things pulled up unless there's something we have to really go dig for and try to project. Well I can show you how to use that anyway. Well it's remember very, though I couldn't get it to connect to my machine to talk yeah, to Yeah no. Right. But this will. Right. So uh, the action item is if we, so I'll basically make sure that um, Ben has the most recent um, presentation because there was an error. I know I don't make many, but there was an error in the slides <laughs> from the fire hall. I don't think it's on this one. Um, but anyways. Just call it town meeting. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, something simple. Something okay, anyways, I, I fixed I fixed it. <laughs> but it's let me see your let me see your handout. Oh that is not from the handout. That's no no no, yeah, it's from the slide deck. One three nine five, not one four nine five. One point four million, not one point five. Oops. We've been carrying that number for a while. Yeah. How come you didn't catch it previously? Because I was pretty sure I heard him say yeah. that. Well, anyways, he, he corrected me. He corrected me this morning or last night, yeah, and right. the, the the number he wants is one four. So basically, it's uh, four hundred thousand dollars out of the CRF, five hundred thousand dollars in fundraising, and five hundred thousand dollars funded for uh, the seven years to total to one four. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I know Judy, that was that was the confusion because that number had come out before too. Yeah. But if you yeah. but if you take all my if you if take you all of our, all together, our numbers, yeah, you come up to either four. either he's gotta build it for less or we gotta come up with more money. Well, we've been around that table a few so times. You're gonna do the setup at five. Yep. Set up at five and then we had talked about different Ben, you had said that um, you were gonna be there at the end of the day because um Deb is gonna be counting, so you'd be there with her. For, for town meeting day. For town meeting day, so you'd be there yeah. around six. I uh, things are complicated right now just because we're boiling sap. Oh, okay. So Everything broke loose yesterday. Uh, we, that nice warm day. Yeah, we had three thousand gallons of sap come off the hill <coughs> the first boil. Wow. We had to set everything up and. So, so generally speaking, for that operation, besides you having to be there all the time, is there any? Is there? Any no, I can. I it it. It depends on my uh, nephew and my brother boil, but I, if, if they are boiling, I have still have to package the syrup and get it in barrels and stuff like that. So is there a part of the day that works better for you? I think what you may be, it may end up being the early part of the day. Is when 
you're available or not would, available? Would be most available because we tend to boil in the afternoon. But I'll let you know. Okay. As the weather, as might the be, weather, weather might go for cold and not <coughs> have to worry about it. So how about how about we plan <coughs> on that I'm there to kick off <coughs> voting at 7 a.m. We've all got to be there at 9. Mm -hmm. And then if your your morning is more free, um, well we're all there. We're, we're all, all there. there. We're all there till one or two. Yeah. And then if you need, I can, you know, that'll be afternoon for the evening there. So then if you need to scoot home in the afternoon, yeah. between Judy and I will cover. One of us for sure has to be there when polls close, <coughs> yep. all the way through the end of the ballots being counted. That's, I can, I can so that's I what did, the, I did that before. I mean, I can do that again, or, but. Uh, I ended up with little Taiwanese. So he texted, but my nephew was trying to get the RO started and things weren't working. And <coughs> I was diag diagnostic and <laughs> telling him what to do. But we got it going. Well, I'm, will I'm willing to basically kind of share okay. the responsibility. We'll figure it out. I, depending on how many people sign up uh, to count, Kevin is hoping not to have anyone that's running for anything, but if he comes up short, I will do counting of something that is not. He wanted me to actually, so that's that's why it may turn out that it's just easier for me to stay. Okay. You know, so maybe what we'll do is just plan on you <coughs> having the afternoon, you know, when town meeting mm -hmm. finishes. Mm -hmm. I can go home and get my power nap. <laughs> and then, um, you know, uh, come 7 o'clock, I'll come back and, and spell you. How's that? Okay, yep, and you can take down the... You can count. I'll take down the uh, well, whatever. Two does. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's. Speaking of taking down the two does. Two does. Can we have Matt okay. help? He's all right for Monday night. What about what, what, what about what about seven o'clock Tuesday? To take things down. Mm-hmm. That would be a help. So Sue very graciously <coughs> helped. The primary, just, which was well, beautiful. he was going to be there, but I already told him not to because she said there were enough people. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather have him there just just so that just in case. Yep. If, if it turns out that everyone for whatever reasons not there, then and other people are doing other things, I think it's. Yeah. What usually happened? What happened at the primary and what will happen at town meeting is everyone goes over and counts the ballots and. You've got all this stuff left, and right. <laughs> Judy is. Well, my concern was that, yeah, I said to Matt, oh, you've got to be there. Well, of course, that's at 10 o'clock at night. You know, I worry about that. Patty having to carry everything back over here and right. lug it all. And, but he's not going to be there at 10 o'clock at night. No, we can but get, at 7 um, to take care take of everything. Take everything down. Absolutely. If there is stuff <coughs> that can be carried, you can carry it. I then. did say to him, make sure you carry it. <coughs> and I told Patty, but you know. <coughs> She'll do her own thing. She will. Or maybe, you know, to help her, if she can, is to wait till the next morning to unpack, and then early in the morning, Matt can help her bring everything from her car in. Sure. If she can wait that long. Mm -hmm. Sure. I, I had a hard time talking her into that, too. <laughs> She's I, an independent woman. <laughs> we love it. Okay. Okay. So what else? <coughs> so basically, I've got, um, got I've got to be there at opening. Seven o'clock. Yeah. We're all going to be. I've got the dish. The, we're all there at make, nine. Make sure they're early enough then to set up your machine yeah, and the I'll, projector. I'll, that starts at nine. Nine. So I'll be there at eight thirty. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. I have some of those lethal cough drops if you want one. I think I'll take one. Sure. Thank you. They have exploding your mouth. <coughs> I'll just take it out. Give it a rest for a minute. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That reminds me of that, that was one more of the new business things that now that Medina's had a slight cough. Coughing fit. You know, so one of the recommendations for the um, control of the virus is to uh, make sure that people stay home when they're sick and mm -hmm. if their children are home to stay home. Mm -hmm. Should we, do we need to, we, we actually have a very, very, um, I don't want to say good either. We've got a uh, 
sick leave policy gets. Allows for a lot of sick days. Mm -hmm. Should we put into the paychecks just a little note reinforcing or re re let people know that if you're sick, please stay, stay home? home. Yeah. Is that, is that, there's actually some communities, some towns, some businesses that are doing exactly that. Um, we could wait till next week to do it if you thought that was the right timing. Dina, your thoughts? Uh, you look like you're about to say something. Well, I was just going to say that I would hope that most of the supervisors are on the road. I had somebody in here yesterday morning who showed up for work sick. I sent him home. I said, sorry, you can't stay. Go. Right. We love you, but get out. Right. right. I, I would agree with what you said, but I think in this particular instance, it probably wouldn't hurt. Just stick a note in, oh, no, I think that would be great. in the pay envelope saying, please stay home if you're sick. Just you know? a little encouragement. And if your children are home, right. if your children are sick, please, you know, if you have to stay, right. home, stay with home with them, them. stay home with them. Right. If Absolutely. Don't bring any germs in here. I don't care if yep. it's the flu or I mean, I think that, you know, from cold. the parents' perspective, they're yeah. going to hear the same thing from the school with their children yep. and that. Um, right. But as far as town policy goes, if you will, I think re reinforcing the fact that, um, and it's, if you may say, it's easy for us to say and do because we've got a part of our policy. It's a lot harder <coughs> for businesses that don't have hmm. paid sick days. Exactly. Right, or they lot. have three for the year. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 a lot harder to manage. So, okay, so the end. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll stick something. In. You okay with that then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Thanks. And we've got a call at eleven. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Well, any time between now and eleven. Yeah. Oh, Give me just a, Give me just a second. <laughs> Give me just. I didn't realize it was quite so close to eleven. <laughs> And then 11.30, um, Chief Monday's coming back in, or coming in. Not today. Oh, I thought he was coming in. Oh, next Thursday. After town meeting, yes. Oh, next Thursday. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you not, would you like the agenda, sir? Hey. Here it is. Smart, was, out, smart <laughs> out remarks are left for me. I wasn't being smart. I was being serious. Committees and commission reports. Incidentally, I did get compliments on your presentation. Oh, good. I thought you were articulate. Thank you. Go ahead, Dina. Well, I had on there um, some grants, but... Um, oh, we need to talk about those. We can't... Um, the Energy Committee one, uh, it's $5,000. Well, it's up to $5,000. So you need to have a public hearing to accept it. Anyways, so we can't, so we can't react to it until we do that. Okay. So we need to put that on the agenda. How much time for a public so hearing? I will, set, time? I will set that up. Is there it has a, to be a seven-day notice, not including the day of the meeting or the day. So now we're two weeks so out. So now it will be not next Thursday, but the next. Same, same for the um, yeah. Lime Foundation? Yeah. yeah. So let's do those both the same day. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to talk about accepting them specifically, but with the Lime Foundation, just for your awareness, um, they granted us a little less than half of what's required to do the project. For the um, for the crosswalk? Uh, R R F B. <laughs> okay. So we're challenged. Okay. Um, the I think the important part is going to be once again linking it to the paving that's going yes. on on Route 10 and getting the design and the state approval and, and if we have to in 2020 if we have to physically install the structures in 2021 because we don't have the funding, then at least we've got everything ready to ready go. Ready to go, yeah. But we can definitely um, have a little bit more detailed discussion on that in two weeks. So we've got those two things, right, Gina? Yes. Okay. And then the highway boiler, boiler. Morty came with his. Yeah, we've got two now. Yeah, two two wood boiler um, uh, prices. Yep. Mr. Bailey's did it include mm -hmm. the wall, mm -hmm. and the other one did not, as I remember. Correct. And and also we haven't gotten the BTU conversions right. either. So that's still work in progress. Until next week. Well, that's still work in progress, and yep. and you know the, the the good news is is it's warming up, and also you know they're they're working and barely uh, limping along, so. We're going to have to fix that one today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is it? Committee commission reports. Oh, no, it isn't. 
you need to sign, you need to approve the, um, the auditor, sorry, the auditor's um, contract commitment. Mm -hmm. So there's a place to sign. It's Vashon Puke, same one we've used all along. Are the prices in there? Is it remaining? Fourteen thousand dollars. Is it remaining the same? Most, <coughs> not no, not, no, not to exceed, and it general generally isn't that much. And it does have the chair of the board's one signature place, but you guys can certainly all sign if you want. It's a chair. It's the chair sign. I'm so you want us to all surprised sign? that yeah. companies that work with municipalities haven't figured out that there's supposed to be more than one signature. I mean, it's just how Sorry. many years have they worked for this town? Yeah, well, that's fine. One so person signed it all those years. Well, we can do all three. Yeah. So everybody, the board's comfortable. The, the board's yeah, comfortable right. with four thousand dollars for the audit. Yeah. Sorry, sounds like what, yes. What sure. We usually, Perfect. Is that standard? Used to be a lot less. <laughs> we all used to be a lot younger. We, I think this year it was twelve. Was it? Wow, well, something. And I think last year the letter was fourteen. It's been the same for a while. A couple yeah. Of years. Okay. Yeah, and then we don't usually use. Okay. And it also depends on what they do. Every so many years they have to do a big GFO oh, and they have yeah. to track one person through the whole year. It costs more money. It's kind of like an assessing update, you know? Like every five years you have to spend mm -hmm. more money than you normally do. I'm not sure, Hannah, where you get to do a, <laughs> an extra. You get to do those poor guys. Oh. Do you know, I think yes. for that um, street light conversion grant from the Lion Foundation, I think we need to get someone from the Energy Committee, like Mark, to come in and present at the same time for that public meeting. Well, I think somebody from the Energy Committee should be here. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, they've already asked for the grant. They've already gotten the money. Yeah. They're just going to accept it. Well, but I, I think as the questions arise, I think... I think that's a good uh, right. explanation in here. Yeah, no, someone should. If Mark can, I mean, someone else. should. Be. But I like to do that because then they know what the expectation is from my office, too, because. As far as timing goes? Uh, timing, tracking, who gets what, where everything goes, because we have a problem with that. Right. Community Commission reports. Any? Um. No. Unfortunate that David came in and updated you guys on the sign up board. There you go, you took that center. Ben, <laughs> 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 did you did you have a concert it sounds like had conservation. looks like there was conservation on Monday. Yeah, yeah I've got the minutes right here. I didn't uh, attend. Curious as you fish for that. Did they um, talk about River Road bypass? Mm -hmm. RE trails? Sue was there. Well, I'd like to hear from you. Well, I've got to find my minutes. So, observation. Oh, you got to call Laura. I know, I know. Well, it's I'm, 11 o'clock. I'm trying to get there. I'm, as soon as we finish this, we'll be going in the hall hallway, just for your awareness. And as best I know, that will finish our business for the day. As best I know right now. for the past meetings. Just off the top of your head, though, do you remember? I wasn't there. Oh. I wasn't there. I wasn't there, so I'd have to leave the minutes. 
Oh. But I know that Rusty and Sue gave a presentation to me. Right. I read them. You read the minutes? I read them. Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, I, I have them. Well, fine. I don't know why they're not. All I really going. then all I really would ask is that you send them to Judy and I. All right. About the minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. And then what? Then I'll then I'll answer my question. Love to. Okay. Excellent. And then we'll all be informed. Oh, that'd be so good. Okay. So good. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a few minute break, and the um, public can take down their recording device. I'm going to take a quick break. And then if you want to give a quick email to council, we'll go into down public, 91, mm -hmm. A, legal, whatever that. L. Thank you. 91A colon.